Hi Aries, welcome to Willow Oak. I am here to do a reading for you for the month of December. So let's see what your first oracle card is. This is something that you need to know, okay? Beautiful energy to the sea. This means that you are in the flow with the universe. It's beautiful. So that's what you need to know. Let's see what your overall energy is. And please only take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. Um, you might check your other placements for a more complete picture. Or if this reading doesn't resonate with you. Okay? Ideation. This is a beautiful card. Okay, this is talking about it being your time. Mm -hmm. It's your time to create what it is that's in your heart to create. So take that time for you. And that's a beautiful overall energy to have. Putting your desires first. That's not saying that you're putting others necessarily second. It's saying that you're stopping to take the time when you might not otherwise do it to let your desires come forward and you act on them. Okay? Oftentimes we put ourselves way down on that list and this is saying it's time for you to put yourself way up on that list. And here what you need to know is that you're in the flow. So it looks like you are going to be doing this. Dream talk. Your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages, and more. Okay, this is advice. Okay, so it's saying pay attention to your dreams, pay attention to the signs, the symbols, your intuition. It will help you during this time. So these are three really beautiful cards. You're in the flow. Pay attention to what it is that you dream of, that you, what you want to bring into your life to focus on and take the time to do that. And the advice is pay attention to your dreams, symbols, messages, anything that could be connecting you to the advice from spirit. All right. Oh, it's getting ready to get an angel card. <laughs> okay, let's see what the tarot would like to share. And if you like this reading, please give it a like, share, subscribe, leave comments. This will help the channel to grow, and I would appreciate it very much. Tower. Quite interesting. So, you, you are in flow with the universe. And this is saying it could bring in a tower for your benefit. And towers can be challenging, they can be positive, tiny, large. Um, the one thing they do have in common is they tend to be abrupt. So there could be a quick change. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. You have the Ace of Swords. This is letting you know that now the tower comes in. You're in the flow, but this tower comes in. So now you're able to think clearly. You have this opportunity or this quick change because of this tower where you are thinking clearly, you're seeing clearly, you know clearly. And it's coming out right under ideation. So these two to me say, yeah, you've got something that it is that you want to do. And it's very clear in your mind. You know what it is. And that it might have needed to have a tower happen in order for you to go ahead 
can create this change in your life. One where you put this first. And that could be anything. Maybe one day you had an idea and you thought, wow, what a wonderful idea this is. She didn't do anything with it. And it's kind of stuck with you. Well, now it's saying now is the time to go for that. But it could be anything. That you had this great, maybe aha moment about. Okay. And they are not the same shape. But here's this circle with this ray coming up. And here is a circle with the same thing, kind of like a ray coming out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Totally related. Okay. Let's get a card for your advice. And then we'll get a few clarifying cards. Okay. What you have here is a give and take energy. You want to share with others. Others want to share with you. That's a possibility. Or it could be all about the balance. And to me, what I see a whole lot of here is balance. It could be both, but to me, balance is very important. If you are in this energy, you are balanced. Here you might be out of balance, but this tower is putting you into balance. Here it looks very balanced to me. Okay. And here, the seven of wands, you know where it is you want to go, what it is you want to do. Believe in yourself, okay? Don't pay attention to all the naysayers or people that are trying to st um, steer you away. You know where you want to go. You keep that balance, okay? Let's get a few clarifying cards. Let's see what we find out. And the ideation card could be emotional expression, definitely enthusiasm, optimism, pleasure, productivity. You know, it stimulates creativity. And that's what, you know, ideation. That's what you're all about. Vitality, stamina, grounding, spontaneity, stability, definitely passion. Beautiful combination of cards here. And this is definitely a contrasting pair of cards. But here you are. Okay? This is what you need to know. In order for you, seeing the bigger picture here, in order for you to be in this beautiful flow, this beautiful balance, you need to have this tower moment so you can bring in this ideation, this time of exploring self and going forward with what it is that you really want. And so, the advice is to pay attention to your dreams, have faith in what you want, and have the balance to go ahead and go forward with it, okay? Okay, let's get a card for the tower. the Two of Cups. This talks about an unconditional love with another. Okay? Possibly somebody you already know. It's possible you've not met them yet. And for me, this does not necessarily mean it has to be another person. Typically, that's what this means. You meet somebody and there's this unconditional love. Could be romantic, does not have to be. But for me, it could be you getting in touch with yourself. And that's what this is to me, okay? Having great clarity 
and going forward. All right. So I think that's what this is saying. This tower is coming in and it's bringing you and your higher self, you and your creative self together. So you can go forward. You're going to be in the flow. Okay. I want to look at the bottom of the deck. Tower. When I was checking a card for the tower. So I would say that definitely means a tower is coming in. Mm -hmm. But like I said, towers can be very good. And in this case, to me, it looks like it's a very good tower. Yeah, definitely. Because it is creating balance in your life and putting you in the flow of the universe. It's beautiful. Okay. I was just taking some cards out in general. And what you have here is a seven of pentacles. Here, it is to the point that you are harvesting what you've worked for. So this is future. Nine of wands. This is where you are actively going for what you want. And here, you have nine of cups. This is where you're going to be very, very happy and content with your life. So... What you need to do, or would behoove you, is to pay attention to this tower. Let it happen. Whatever it is that allows you to go ahead and go forward with your dreams. To take some new time, because it will put you in the flow. And it will bring in this beautiful garden that you want. Okay? And that... To me, it says you are, and you're going to be very happy. Now, do remember to believe in yourself and make for sure you have balance and pay attention to the symbols and signs that are around you, including your dreams. Any synchronicities that you see, they're all signs, okay? Let's go ahead and see what the universe would like to share. Very nice reading. It's definitely telling you you have an idea. It could be somewhat recent. It could be, you know, I'm looking at the spiral staircase, right? So to me, it comes from some time ago, but it doesn't have to. Yeah. But you are going for it. So it could potentially be life changing. And I'd say because you ended up at the tower twice. Definitely life-changing, putting you into happiness, abundance, and enthusiasm for what you're doing. Within the next few weeks, there you go. Okay, it might be time to get things started. Because these wheels might start turning within the next few weeks. Where be prepared for a potential tower. And like I said, they could be small, it could be large, but whatever it is, it looks like it's could be life changing. Mm -hmm. Because you are going to let your ideas come into fruition. Also, at the bottom, it says, listen to your intuition. And this goes right in with this. Okay? Thank you so much. I really hope this helps, and I hope you have a wonderful month. Much love.